friends welcome back and if you're new welcome my name is Nikki I hope that you will consider subscribing we are so close to a thousand subscribers a little bit about me I am a part-time reseller I've re I've reselled I've been reselling on eBay for 10 years Poshmark for a year I also have two other channels if you're interested I have a vlog channel which I always link below and a beauty channel so today I have a box here let me see if I can show you without showing you my address a box of clothing that I sent to the real real and they sent back to me and rejected but they did take some pieces that I sent them so this video is all about the real real I'll quickly tell you what it is if you don't know it's an online website that mostly sells I think all of their stuff is luxury items think luxury clothing handbags shoes um, accessories for men and women so it's similar to thread up where thread up is an online think of it thread up is just like a huge online thrift store but they sell everything they sell luxury like gucci versace prada for love and lemons and they also sell gap target like it's like going into goodwill you could find anything but it's online the real real is strictly luxury so similar to thread up anybody can send things to the real real and try to consign with them so you send their, your your items to them an actual person goes through it and lets you know whether or not they're going to sell it on their website or they send it back to you free of charge being 100 percent honest having sent probably about 10 boxes of clothing to thread up two boxes to real real i can already tell i prefer the whole process with the real real they're definitely a more well-oiled machine you can just tell that they're more established at doing this I've had thread up lose some of my items I don't really like the way thread up prices their items but I do like thread up because I can just send them anything the real real they are very picky so today I'm going to show you everything I sent to them what they've accepted and what's listed on their website what the pricing is for and then what they sent back to me and if you guys would like to see like a what sold video for the real real let me know because i'm excited i'm excited to get my first sale so let's jump into the things first that i sent to them that they sent back to me that they were like we're not gonna sell so i sent them let me see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 14 items and they only took two now I kind of knew that they weren't going to take a lot of these items So the real real like I said, they're very specific about the brands they take and I sent them a lot of items That weren't on their current designer list. So when you sign up you can sell to them For free you sign up you make an account. I'll leave a link to their website down below um, They have like a checkbox of the brands they're currently accepting but I have many friends that will send them brands that aren't on their current designer list that they will sometimes take. So sometimes you can just try. Now you do have to check their website to see if they're currently selling the brand. So for example, I sent them a couple of theory items. They don't currently have theory as a designer on the list that you can send to them, but I checked their website and they're currently selling theory items. So it really just depends on who goes through your clothing. So there's an actual person going through the clothing that you send them and some people will just say it's not on our designer list Send it back to Nicole, but some people will be like well, we're kind of running low on the theory that we have on our website Let's take this stuff. So you see what I mean? It's kind of luck of the draw and who unboxes your stuff So I might actually just box this stuff back up and send it in again for a second time and see if they take it because I might get a different person more than likely I'll get a different person and I have to say first of all I love that they put your returns so nicely like this the th thread up Lux will box your things really nicely and send it back but if it's just normal thread up they do not give you bags like this um, the process is very fast with real real the process with thread up is painfully dreadfully slow like sometimes I've had them take like a month or a month and a half just to go through my items tell me what they're selling what they're not selling this whole process with real real from the time I sent it to them to the time they told me if they were gonna take it or not was like three or four days it's amazing I don't know if it's because I'm in LA and I shipped the clothing to somewhere in California but it was very fast so I think I'm just gonna try one more time with these items and see if they'll take it. Um, so first up, this is 
a really nice jacket. You guys, I found this at the bins. So this brand is called Class, but when you look, I had to really dig to find out more about this brand. This is from Roberto Cavalli, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure. Um, really nice jacket, I mean, my God. It's made in Italy. It has um, a blue like floral print on it. It basically looks like it's new. It's really cute and it has shoulder pads on it. Now that is one, I didn't check first the website to see if they were currently selling it on there. So I need to look that up because if they're not currently selling it on their website, it's kind of not even worth sending it in um, because more than likely they really won't take it. But like for example, this brand, Tahari, even though it's not on their current designer list as a brand that they want you to send in, they do sell it on their website right now. So I might try and send this back again. So this is just a Tahari, um, is it black or navy? Black jacket, size eight, and it has the buttons that go up the front with the shoulder pads, really nice. All right, what do we have next? Now. This is brand new with tags. I found this at the bins. It's missing, is this the one missing a button? Yeah, it's missing a button at the bottom. So this is Demore Couture. This is new with tags, you guys. This retailed for $5.55 originally at Nordstrom. Then it was dropped down to $249.75. Here's what the tag looks like. Really cute, size six. Um, I might actually try and send this to Thread Up Lux because I don't think I saw that this sold on their website and so it's probably pointless in sending it back, but somebody will take it. I tried selling it on my Poshmark and it was just not moving. Now, Lafayette Collection looks like this, high-end brand. Again, they sent this back because they said it's not currently on their designer list, but it's currently sold on their website. So this might be one of the ones I actually try and send back to them. And then what else do we have? This is Theory. Now Theory is currently sold on their website. So I'm just gonna try again and see if someone, the person um, unboxing it will take it. So Theory gray sweater, I just realized it has a small tiny hole Oh no, there's lots of holes in this. So I'm actually not send this back. There's a hole here. I didn't even notice that and a huge hole in the sleeve. This is actually good I'm seeing this because this was listed on my Poshmark and my eBay for so long. So, hmm, this might be a redonation or a thread up. I'll have to think about that. Cause I know also when I tell you the real world is picky, they don't really like their items to have a lot of defects. It can maybe be something small, but not as big as like holes like that. Like e even if it was a brand that they took, they probably would have sent that back to me because of the holes. Sent them this Vince scarf. I picked this up um, at the bins recently. I think I've probably shown it to you guys in a haul. You know, it's one of those scarves that you like wrap around like this. I don't want to get makeup on it. Uh, Vince is currently being sold on their website, so that's what I'm going to try and send back to them. These pants, I'm so conflicted about these pants. I picked these up at the Goodwill outlet. They're called The Script. It's, I can't tell if this brand went out of business, if they're no longer sold, but these pants, they're brand new with tags. I literally got like 40 of these. They retail for like $350. I don't want to open it. They sent, the Real Real sent these back to me because it's not on their current designer list. I can't find it on anybody's current designer list. I don't know where these, I think these were like originally sold at Nordstrom or something, but I sent them two just to kind of see if they would sell. Funny thing is I sent those to Thread Up and they did sell them, but they sold them for like the cheapest price and I only made like $16 profit. So I'm gonna actually send those to Thread Up and I'm gonna reprice it. I'm gonna try a new strategy with ThreadUp, I told you guys, where I set the pricing. Cause one thing I do like about ThreadUp over the real real is that you can edit the price of items and that is a game changer. So I'm actually gonna send those to ThreadUp and see how they do. And then what else do we have? Ah, <laughs> so I sent them a lot of those pants. If I can find a photo of them, cause I do have some listed on my Poshmark and eBay. I'll put them up so you can actually see what they look like. I don't want to take them out of the bags like this because um, I'm probably going to send them to bread up and see how they do. But I sent them two pairs of pink 
and then two pair no three pairs of the gray i think i still have like 20 of those listed on my own stores the sales maybe hopefully will pick up in spring and um summer because they're kind of like a linen material some of them are completely linen but yeah i've just really had trouble moving those pants and uh, you guys i'm not kidding when i went to the goodwill outlet they had like four bins full of them i still wish i would have picked up more because e they're kind of heavy but i still these are like probably a pound so i probably paid like 230 maybe 250 each and if i can turn like even like a $30 profit, I'd be happy. So I should have picked up more, but I just feel like those are going to be a slow flip. Like they're not going to move quickly. So those are all the things they sent back to me. I think for sure I'm going to send back the Vince and the Theory items. The other items I'm probably going to send to Thread Up Lux. Um, but let's talk about the items they actually did take. So let me sign into the real, real. Um website so they took two items from me one of them was i'll put it on the screen one of them were these uh versace wool pants so i had originally sent these these to thread up looks like two months ago they posted them they took them they didn't sell and so then um they sent them back to me and then i sent them to the real real and the real real took them and it's interesting how differently they price them so Thread Up actually priced these pants at 180. Real Real's only pricing them at 75. And this is my first time, this is my first box sending them anything. I personally think that's kind of low. They're um, a wool blend pants. You can see they're really cute, but I would make 40% commission off of that. So we'll see how those go, how that goes. They're currently listed on their website. And then another thing I really love about the real world is they take men's items because I find so many luxury men's items here at the bins. Um, so they took this John Varvatos jacket and I thought that they would price this a little more. They didn't price it at that much, but it's a really nice jacket. I got both of these items from the bins, including those Versace pants. So I can't complain. We'll see how they do. Um, if those wool pants don't sell on the real real, I might actually reclaim them and try to sell them on my own because of those pants i actually didn't even try to sell on my own i sent them directly to thread up lux but i don't know i just feel like they could command a higher price so we'll see we'll see i'm gonna have to think about that because i might actually reclaim those but the john Barbados jacket i'm excited they took and it just opened my eyes to look at more men's items i'm always so fixated on women's 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 but there are so many men's items out there especially luxury men's jackets that i could be sending to thread up lux or the real real because i don't really like buying them from my store one because they they move slower they don't sell very quickly they're kind of bulky they're usually bigger and so they take up a lot of storage and they require a lot of measurements like uh, usually the guys will ask me people that are purchasing to measure the shoulders to measure the waist to measure the length like they ask for like six or seven measurements what's like which i get because if you're buying a jacket online a high-end jacket you want to know all the measurements to make sure it fits but just for me to do all that it's just a little time consuming so i wouldn't mind picking them up at the bins like yesterday i found like 10 luxury men's jackets at the bins but each of them had like some damage that i was just like a couple were missing buttons a couple had like a little bit of holes in them or too much pilling and i am not one for repairs i tell you guys all the time if it needs a lot of repairs even a button applied i probably won't pick it up i don't have time for it i have a corporate job i'm not a seamstress i could probably ask my mom to do it but i just I'm probably missing out on money that way, but you know, we all have those like, I don't know if I should call it like a blind spot or deficiency where I feel like I miss out on a lot of profit just because of small things like that. I just don't have the time for it. And I'm honestly, if I had the time, I probably wouldn't do it because I just can't stand doing stuff like that. Like I don't like sewing. I That's why I very rarely buy used shoes and I know I'm missing out on a lot of money because I can't stand cleaning shoes. I'm trying to force myself to open up to it if they're not like really gross to clean the shoes but so that was my first experience with the real real and even though they only took two of the what 14 items i'm pretty happy with it the only thing i'm not so happy with is the pricing 
for those Versace pants. So I'm gonna think about that and decide whether I'm gonna try and sell them on my own. I'll probably leave them on their website for a week. They literally just listed it yesterday. And we'll see. If it sells there, it sells there. If it doesn't, then I will reclaim them and try to sell them on my own. But let me know if you wanna see monthly what's sold on ThreadUp or the Real Real because I'm gonna be sending them a lot of stuff. Like my goal for March is to send ThreadUp at least 30 boxes of clothing. So let me know if you'd like to see what sold. It's a little harder to send as much to Real Real because it's very luxury focused. They're very picky about their brands. They're very picky about like defects. It can't have many defects. So maybe we could shoot for a goal of like five boxes to Real Real. Um, but let me know if you want to see what sold videos. If you haven't seen my most recent video, you can check it out right here.